There are 12 children from three schools in the East End of Glasgow and we're all here to make paper mache models of who we'll be in 20 years time. What I want to be in the, um, 20 years time is a computer scientist. Yeah, my model is an SSPCA person. And mine is a boxer. I'm going to be a football player for the boxer. I'm going to be a football player, I'm going to be a striker. I'm going to be a striker. I want to be a professional football player. I play for left wing and I want to play for Arsenal. In 20 years time I would like to be loved and proud of myself. Well, I think there's been a recognition in recent years that we need to intervene much earlier in young lives rather than having a reactive approach once young people's lives do drift into things like um, offending and crime and often the huge re-offending rates as well. When we look at Pullman, for example, 87% of the inmates there have been there before. You know, and I think there's been an increasing recognition that we need to intervene much earlier and in more creative ways to try and prevent those patterns of behaviour occurring and steer young people towards positive pathways. Be honest in 20 years' time, you're being honest. This doesn't really concern what my job is going to be. But as a person, your personality would like to be Definitely. honest. Definitely. Definitely. Not, not, maybe. Definitely. Not, not, maybe. 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 I think I've seen loads of things this morning, uh, for instance, bringing children together in much smaller groups where they almost have a one-to-one -one with adults, doing things like circle time where every child was rewarded and um, told something positive about themselves. These kinds of children and young people are so used to being told negative things. Do you ever find yourself giving compliments? Yeah. Yeah? What would you give somebody a compliment about, Paul? What would you say to them? Great, brilliant. And we've heard some of you do that this week, so it's fantastic. So we've got to give you a little something out of the treasure chest just now. There's three things on this piece of paper, and you're only going to share the first thing, because the other two things are just between us and you. So it's private for you. So the first thing on the piece of paper is a compliment. Thank you for being a strong, calming influence in the group. Well done. Thank you for being such a positive and responsible member of the team. Well done. Thank you for giving Junior such good comments and feedback. You really made what you said and it meant a lot to Junior. So it's giving them confidence, it's building self-esteem. And then uh, even during the, the model making activities, the passport activities, there was an interaction with adults where positive relationships, positive things were being said to them. They're seeing adults in a positive way. And you know, I think it's the whole process underpinning what they're doing that's really, really important. And also just thinking about um, where they want to go in life and that they, they, they can have uh, the confidence to actually reach out to those and, and try and achieve those aspirations. And so I think it's never too early to start working in a positive way and introduce them to positive adult relationships, making them feel as if they're valued and supported in life and that they can have aspirations, you know, uh, to move into positive destinations. I think, you know, primary school age is a really good time uh, to start doing that because um, certainly some of the young lives that I've worked with, you know, you've got people, you know, that are in their uh, teenage years uh, that have had a catalogue of chaotic circumstances within their lives. And looking back across these life trajectories, you sometimes think, you know, if only something could have intervened much earlier mm -hmm. to try and steer them in the right directions. Uh, so I think projects of this kind are very, very important for that reason. Mm -hmm.